Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green square that consists of four identical uh, semicircles. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that these uh, semicircles are tangent to each other and moreover, the diameter of each of these semicircles is uh, 8 units. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on these two semicircles on the right hand side. We know the diameter of uh, this semicircle is uh, 8 units. So therefore, this radius has got to be half of that one. That's going to be 4 units. And likewise, FC is going to be 4 units as well. And now if somehow we can find the length of this uh, BF, we can easily find the side length of this uh, square. Therefore, we are going to connect uh, these two points E and F. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we can get this uh, EBF as a right triangle since this uh, angle is 90 degrees. And now we can see that this is the radius of this semicircle. So this got to be 4. And this semicircle radius is 4 as well. So this total length has got to be EF is going to be 4 plus 4 is going to give us 8 units. So therefore we got EB equals to 4 units. EF is 8 units. And now we are going to calculate this length BF. Moreover, since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side length uh, a, this unknown side length I'm going to call b, and this longest leg I'm going to call side c. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 4, so this has got to be 4 square plus b square unknown equal to c in our case is 8 square. Now let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us 16 plus b square equals to 64. Let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides. This is gone, so therefore b square turns out to be 48. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. So on the left hand side, uh, this uh, square and square root undo each other. So b turns out to be square root of uh, 48. Now let's go ahead and simplify square root of 48. And here I have copied it down. And if we break it down, we're going to get a square root of 16 times a square root of 3. And we know the square root of 16 is a 4. Therefore, square root of 48 could be written as a 4 times square root of 3. So therefore, our b value turns out to be 4 times a square root of 3. So thus our this uh, unknown side BF turns out to be 4 times square root of 3. So therefore this whole side length of uh, this uh, square is going to be the sum of these two values 4 times square root of 3 plus uh, 4. So therefore I can write uh, the side length of this square is going to be BF in our case is 4 times square root of 3 plus uh, 4. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length of this square. In our case, the side length of this uh, given square is uh, 4 times square root of 3 plus 4. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, green shaded square is going to become simply 4 times square root of 3 plus uh, 4 whole square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square. In our case, this is our a and this is our b. So therefore, we're going to apply this identity over here. So we are going to get 4 times square root 3 whole square plus 2 times 4 times square root of 3 times 4 and then simply plus 
4 square. Now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So this very first term is going to give us 4 square is 16. 16 times 3 is going to be 48 plus this is going to give us if we multiply everything that's going to give us 32 times square root of 3 plus 16. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. 48 plus 16 is going to give us 64 plus 32 times square root of 3. So thus the area of this green square turns out to be 64 plus 32 times square root of 3. So thus the area of this green shaded square turns out to be this and this is approximately equal to 119.43 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.